Hello everybody, um, welcome to my channel and today I'm going to show you how to put your person in safe mode and speed it up. So, watch the video and you'll, you should be able to follow through. Then you need to plug your controller in on wire and push the home button. And then up on this menu here. All you first thing you want to do is click rebuild. Or get rid of it, your playlist and messages. So if you've got any important playlists, back them up. Then it will what it will do this, and then you just push the home button on the controller and click X. And then it will say this, and then before the tunnel is out, you press X, and then it says. The database on the system storage will be rebuilt. You click OK and then you let it go. If you've never if you've if you've never done this before it will take a while. But if you have, um it will go decently fast. Not not mine kind of is right now. So I'll be back when my PlayStation is finished. Okay guys, when it's done, what you want to do, what you want to do, is turn it off, wait for it to completely shut off, and then take the disc out. When it when it's off you do the same thing Easy. Plug it in. Keep it in by wire. And click the middle button. And then this will pop up. So instead of clicking number four, what you want to do is click Restore File System. And it says, Are you sure you want to restore the file system on the system storage? Then you click Yes. It will prepare. It will do this stuff again. Same thing again, it will ask for it. So you will click the home button. And so the control turns on. And then you click yes. And then it will do this. Same thing again. You click X. And it will say file system on the system storage is corrupted and will be restored 
But guys, don't worry, it's not corrupted. It thinks it's corrupted, but it's not. And then it will do this. And if you again, if you've never done it before, it will take a little bit. But mine's going fast, so I'm just going to record this bit. Sometimes it goes fast, sometimes it slow down. It depends. What's wrong with it? Oh, it's green. I'll set it to white. It's weird. And then when it's done, I'll do that again. I will try and post. And now it's got to no more. And then it all looks like normal. Yep. So I'll show you my name. There we go. Nothing white. Alright, oh, guys. Little tip for you guys. You guys, if you guys. Oh, a mess. If you, have you guys always wanted um, better graphics on your PlayStation 3? And you don't know how? Well, I figured out a thing. Um, what you do... What you do... Is get your device of choice. Like you, but you got spare hanging around. Um, you make sure it's off. First, you make sure it's off because it's critical. You you plug in you plug in the USB cord into the PlayStation, and then your device you power on. Wait till it turns on, and then your device will boot up. Do I say please wait? Well, it depends what device you got, and then you close. You just put it down somewhere, and then it was synchronized. If you if you want to. If you want to, you can put your game back in to the console, and then it's ready. Um, tip tip number two: these these are the settings. You'd want to. These are the other settings as well to increase the graphics. This is tip number two. You hit game settings, and then this is it. You want to put PS upscale to full screen, and then PS move it on. Then you go to video settings. You go all the way down to cinema vision, conversion, and you put that to automatic. DVD wide display, letterbox, DVD slash BD slash DVD upscaler, double scale, BD slash video, BD slash DVD, video output format, HDMI, automatic, 1080p 24Hz output, HDMI on, these are only for HDMI cable users, as you're saying, then you hit dynamic range control, automatic, you put BD slash DVD audio output format linear. Okay, you don't need that to do that. Uh, then you put 50 hertz video output, 50 hertz. And you go to display settings now. And you screen saver, do whatever you want. You go cross color reduction filter on. 
RGB full range HDMI full. That one, super wide HDMI on. Deep color output HDMI automatic. Guys, that, that second tip was only for a HDMI users. And then it should be better. Yes, I do have a code so now I can use more games. I'm going to play GTA right now because I love GTA. Alright guys, if you enjoyed this video, if subscribe and like for more content. And yeah, see you in the next video. See you later guys.